My name is Amber Harrison. I'm a lead preschool teacher for the Edgewood Early Childhood Center. We're part of the Edgewood School District and we're housed in EPS. We're about to get our own building. We serve three to five-year-olds, preschool to pre-K, and we have a lot of fun. I actually got into preschool kinda, I just fell into it. I needed a job that worked with my kids' schedule, and so I took a job at the preschool, and it's, I think it's really rare that you just kind of fall into your passion, but the second week there, I knew I was never leaving. It was where I was supposed to be, so it kinda just happened by chance. They put me there, I got hired as an assistant at the school, and I found my home. You make a really big impact on them, you're their first teacher, and they really let you know it. And so every day when I come back from lunch, I've been gone 30 minutes and they run up and they love me and they're like, Miss Amber, where have you been? And that's just priceless, knowing, like seeing that every day, how much you mean to those kids, that's just my favorite. And I could, I could do it for the rest of my life. In my classroom for the day, we do a lot of play. So there's a lot of building with blocks, there's a lot of painting, a lot of free exploration. So they, you know, they're looking at what they're interested in. And then we also do circle time, so more structured singing and uh, story times. And um, there's just a lot of, we just kind of hang out sometimes. And it just depends on what the kids need. We really kind of let them lead the day, but we have a structured schedule. They come in and we, you know, we help them start to recognize their names. So they'll sign in or pick an activity and we have breakfast together. And then you know, preschool, their job is to play. You know, that's how they learn. So we spend a lot of time playing and getting to know each other and um, bonding. And in the afternoon, we have lunch and nap and then they go home and it's a lot of fun. What makes me the most proud is now that we're in EPS and I get to see former students and I see those kids that struggled in preschool. And when you're struggling in preschool, you know, we're, we're worried because you're just starting. So when I see those kids and they're successful later on, I'm like, I know I had a small part of that, a very small part, but that makes me really proud when I see that my past students are successful. So I work with a lot of great people who really know what they're doing and to be singled out and shown, you know, how good of a job I'm doing that. That meant a lot that, you know, the parents wrote in and let me know, you know, how they felt about me as their kids teacher and that my director, Matt Wooden, that he nominated me in the first place when I work with so many great great educators, that meant a lot. Um, if I was going to thank somebody for this award, I'd like to thank my director, Matt Wooden, for the respect and faith he puts in me every day, and my assistants, Karen and Reagan, because without them, our classroom would not function and I could not do my job. So without them, things would fall apart pretty quick. <laughs> when the students leave my class, I hope that they know that school is a safe place. I hope that they know that they're valued and that they're part of not just my classroom community, but the school community as a whole. So we really, you know, I just want them to feel welcome the next time they come in those doors and that they know that school is a safe place and just a place for them to be happy and learn. Because I never want a kid, I, I hate hearing, you know, I hate school. And I want them to come and be excited. And I hope that I leave that lasting impression on them that, you know, I'm their first teacher and if I can show them that that's what school is, then hopefully they carry that with them.